Welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. I stopped at a very unsafe place here, so I'm going to keep moving. We're going to keep questing. And hopefully get out of this region pretty soon because it has been very painful. And you know that if you saw the previous episode. Probably had more deaths in that episode than I did in all my previous episodes put together. It was crazy. Jumping in acid. Not even good deaths, man. It was just painful, miserable deaths. Still gotta kill a few fell spirits here. Three more. Two more after this one. Really, he resisted that? Damn it. Stupid, stupid. So, I'm trying to head to this quest ring here. Whatever that may be. And kill a couple more fell spirits along the way. bit of healing. I like to stay as full as possible because you never know when things are going to go downhill. Is he dead? He's not dead. There we go. Really? Stupid the king arm. These are so annoying. They'll chase you for like a mile too but they move so slow that you'll get stuck in combat and you don't know why. It's because there's a little arm chasing you. Alright, what is up those stairs? I am very curious. I'm gonna try to not aggro things. Obviously that didn't work, but I'm just gonna run a little bit. Don't really want to fight those. I do want to go up these stairs. God, everything's like flashing here, trying to give me a seizure. Where am I headed? I don't really know, but I am very curious. Got a couple of enslaved spirits here, and I'll certainly fight them. They're pretty weak. And I think this is the altar of some of the sorcerers from Angmar for that one quest. So yeah, the Spirit Master. So they're the Necromancers. More Necromancers. I'm assuming the Spirit Master is going to be all the way at the top. Pretty epic place here, not going to lie. More Necromancers. I'm just going to go all the way. All the way up. This place is so epic, man. I love this map so much. Although I am not terribly thrilled about questing here because it has been pretty difficult but it is satisfying and worth it in the end honestly is that the spirit master no just a regular necromancer is that him yes it is all right so let me stop here and fight these guys Horn iron. The hell is that thing? I don't know, but I'm gonna boot it. All right, let me just do some damage here. Just gonna try to kill it quick. die let me heal up a little bit here and then let me take out this guy
He's not too bad. I think this is actually a solo quest, so definitely not as tough as some of the other things here. And there's Delicious again. And this time I should be able to finish him off for good. And there we are. So that was a ton of quests here that I've completed. I don't think I have anything else on my tracker except the Keeper of Books here. Let me see. So he's actually not that far. Should be somewhere up here. Let me see. Should be somewhere down there. Perhaps right under me somewhere. So this is the library. And I guess that's it right there. So let me kill everything here before I do a little bit of exploring. Figure out what's going on. Oh, so here we go. Let me use this. Oh, sweet. A pretty cool instance here. I don't think I remember this. I don't know if I ever even came in here on my other characters. How cool is this place? This is why I love Angmar so much. They really developed the area. Let me kill these two fools. Alright, let me just try to make it all the way to the back. I'm assuming that's where the character is going to be. There he is. Keeper of books. Sweet. Alright, let me quickly dispatch this guy. Alright, and do a first aid, get rid of one of the fears. Oh my god, where are these people coming from? Everybody relax. Everybody needs to relax here. Alright. So I think the path is clear to fight the Keeper of Books. It looks pretty cool. Not too tough though. So let's go ahead and approach. So the pathetic free peoples are trying to stop our efforts, are they? How amusing. Alright, so let's get started. Just gonna put a ton of damage on him. And again, this is a solo quest, so that's why it's not as difficult as some of the other things that I have been doing here. Thankfully. And I guess I'll heal up a little bit. Why not? You are an annoying as an upset inkwell. And he's dead. My accounts are balanced at last. God, what a nerd. That was just a nerd. So let me get out of here. So now every quest should have a green check mark next to it. Indeed they do. So it's time to return gonna be a long journey so I may fast forward this as I ride back or honestly you know what the best option is suicide it'll take me right back to where I need to be whoa that is an epic fall that was pretty epic there we go you see shortcut perfect shortcut My Durin's beard. Well done, we have stopped the Angmarim for now. The disruption of the Angmarim's trade and supply may seem like a minor accomplishment, but in the end, it may prove more important than a military victory. Right. 
This is unthinkable. You have done very well indeed. Delicious was evidently the key to the necromancer's control over those spirits. It is unfortunate though that those which have been banished are but a small part of the host of Angmar. Oh, there is a raid here. All right, hold on. We're not going to do this just yet. Well met. You have lessened my burden and helped me to sleep better at night, I hope. Thank you, good hobbit. I look forward to working with you again. What do you want? You have done us a great service, my friend. Thank you very much indeed. Now less work remains for me to deal with and perhaps I can finish the task at hand. And then finally... Greetings. Even the smell of the water is enough to cause illness, it seems. I have some thoughts about this water, but there is only one way to bear them out. So it looks like he's going to send me on another quest. Will you help me? Ah. Okay. There are many creatures in Angmar that carry venom or poisonous blood in their veins. But even so, how could all the water be affected so? Could something have spawned in the bowels of Karn Doom? Something monstrous and poisonous to all life? This is more than I know of the ways of the water and such. Please go and speak with Fimrig in Gathfortnir. She may know more about the evils that could do such things. It is far beyond my meager skills. You will find Fimrig to the north and east of here among the rangers. Good, so he's not sending me back down there. He's sending me to the next quest area. Now this guy is going to send me on a raid. Will you help me? You have stopped the evil engine of the Cauldron of Death. You have stopped the supply of money to the North Downs, and you have ended the terror of Delicious, but still the dead rise. I fear this is the work of the dread sorcerer, Lord Ferndur. You have gathered allies and helped us to slow the spread of the dead. However, defeating Lord Ferndur... God, I feel so weird saying that. Ferndur is no small task. If you would challenge this fell master of death, you must assemble an even greater force. I believe that Ferndur is concerned more with the summoning of the fell spirits that are used to animate the shambling bodies of the dead than he is with the whites. You must return to the cursed isle of Imlod Balcroth and find the place where the fell spirits throng and destroy them. Destroy them all and perhaps Ferndur will appear for he must know for he must know it when he is summoned when his summoned spirits are banished. Be wary for this threat may be the gravest yet. Faced in the darkness of Angmar, a monstrous evil whose only superior is in the north and the dread, in the dre dread citadel of Karndoom itself. Alright. So I guess he's going to be in that island full of whites that I could not penetrate. I'm going to have to leave this for later. Towards the end of the season, I'm definitely going to need to enact some help to accomplish this quest. But I'll do it. I'll just leave it off my tracker for now though. But it is time to move on to Gath Fortnir. It looks like there's one more quest here, so hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. Will you stay and speak with me a moment? Really? I'm gonna leave this quest for when I do the raid. You are a brave soul, but this next task I ask of you is no small achievement and requires the staunchest of allies. The fell spirits and whites of Imlad Balkroth are terrible, but pale in comparison to their masters. I will need you to make your way to the far western depths of Imlad Balkroth and hunt the Gauntmen. They are responsible for the raising of the dead and must be stopped if we are to escape this horrid place. Go west with your fellows and destroy this menace, then return to me. So I think... Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait on that. I don't know. I don't wanna go all the way over there for just one quest. I'm gonna go to Gath Fortnir. I don't even care. Hold on, let me see. Let me take this off my tracker for now. And I'm gonna go to Gath Fortnir for now. And maybe I'll deal with Gaunt Lords later. It just feels. I don't know, it doesn't feel right to go all the way back there to that dangerous place for just one quest that I could probably do later. Alright, so let me slide down here. And traverse the treacherous lands to the north and make it over to the next quest hub. So believe it or not, making it towards the end of Angmar. 
this is going to be the last quest hub area. However, it's going to send us to many treacherous places, including the instances here. Urgarth, Karn Doom, Barad Gularon. Lots of cool places to explore still. And I know very well what the source of the poison water is, now that I remember. And I think you guys are going to enjoy the epic conclusion to that quest line. But that's going to be put off for a while, because it's going to be towards the end of the season, I believe. It will send us into Karn Doom. So, it'll take a while. So the enemies here are difficult indeed. Pushing level 50 and beyond. But I think I can manage. And Gath Fortnir, as you can see, is right above me. And it has some pretty interesting natural defenses, both the mountains and also this giant lake at the bottom. Pretty good defensive position. Pretty excited to make it all the way over here, man. It's a pretty big milestone to reach this area of the game. Alright, so up through here, and you can see it's pretty well hidden as well. Back in the day when I didn't have the quest tracker, and there was fog of war everywhere, I remember it took me forever to find this place the first time. Alright, and here we are. First things first, let me Greetings. unlock the location. And it looks like you actually need some acquaintance to be able to travel places, which is very silly. Yeah, I need acquaint acquaintance, so hopefully I can get that soon. Let me see if I have anything to turn in here. Let me make these things stop glowing because it bothers me. I'm not going to turn in anything yet. I don't think I have accumulated enough. But let me start speaking with some of the rangers here. Will you hear my sorrows? Kippen, we must remain vigilant. Angmar has suffered many losses now due to your heroism and our alliance with the Trev Galorg, and Mordorith yet seeks his revenge. We have received word that the False King is sending reinforcements across Rema Stilawan to renew his, his assaults upon Ogher. We have established a blockade of the Rema Stilawan, but that line of stones has become impassable once more. Mordorith has sent forth sorceresses and supplicate sorceresses to supplicate the spirits of the watching stones to strengthen their wills. Will you lend me your ear? Kippen to arms, Angmar approaches. The false king sends host against Ogher in great wrath. Mordorith's ire has been raised against the Trev Galorg and will not be sated until Ogher lies in ruin. We must attend to the defense of the village. Gather your allies. The fighting will be fierce. So these are both going to be instances. I'm not going to go there just yet. Let me actually go into the hidden area of Gath Fortnir itself. So lots of quests to turn in here. Greetings. You have come from Gabila Shanthu. Gable Shanther. Oh my gosh, I'm struggling with my words here. Welcome, friend. Your aid is indeed welcome here. How can I be of service? You have come from Coronir by the way of Bragar. Welcome, and well met. Indeed, we could use your aid. These last few years, these last few years have seen us nearly vanquished. But it is not for me to tell you of our woes. You should enter within and speak with Lorniel Goladir's daughter. Would you do something for me? A scout from Estelden, Muladon, needs your help, and time is of the essence. If the enemy discovers him, they will redouble their efforts to attack us before help arrives. Escort him through the valley from this hiding place south of here, atop a ridge that overlooks Nun Girth. The terrain is treacherous, and there are many dangers on the way to Gath Fortnir. His companions will not be far behind, and with their numbers, they should have little trouble finding their way to us, if need be. All right, let's move in here. And did the game crash on me? No, it did not. 
We're just stuck in a loading screen. And look how cool this hidden cave area is. I certainly enjoy it. Would you do something for me? Kippen, come hither, for I would speak with you. You have been of great aid to many of us here at Gath Fortnir, and now I must ask for another boon of you. To the west of us, you will find Bale Dillis, a place under control of Angmar's Iron Crown. The banners of Angmar fly boldly for all the land to see, a constant reminder of the oppression of the hillmen. I would have you go there and remove the banners of Angmar, replacing them with the standards of the Dunedain. Bring Ang Angmar's banner to me so that we can make an example of them and show the hillmen that there is yet strength and hope to resist the Iron Crown. Why to take a moment of your time? There is great spider that lurks in Himbar. Her eggs are prized by the Iron Crown, as the hatchlings can be trained by the Angmarim to fight for the enemy. You must kill the spiders and their elder protectors northeast of Himbar in Torik Ikbogbereth. When facing the broodlings, beware. They can burrow into the earth and escape your attacks. You must exercise caution while hunting the spiders. Bogbereth stalks these lands and she may be hunting you as well. And let me take a look at the reputation if here. So these are the Stay traders. Alive, I have some Don't items to trade in, but I need to find the proper place to do so. Maybe this guy. No. Let me repair my stuff though. Could I speak with you a moment? The hillmen of Angmar are, are a wild folk and prone to superstition. The priests and priestesses of the cult of the Angmarim are able to use honeyed words to exert a great influence over them. If we are to win the war against Angmar, we must put a halt to the confusions of the enemy. The priests of Angmar must not be allowed to spread their evil lies. You will find them near the altars throughout the bales of Himbar to the west. Bring me back five of their staves as proof of your deed. Might I take a moment of your time? The great tumult of Gertherig can be heard even inside the caves at night. It is a fear that I no longer wish to live with. Will you help me, brave hobbit? We must reduce the numbers of the terrible beast. Gath Fortnir must not be must be made safer, and I worry that with these beasts about, our doors will not hold. Thin their numbers and return to me, they dwell within the bales of Himbar, calling themselves the Flayers. So tons and tons of quests to be done. So let me come down here. Actually, let me see if I can turn in reputation items to this guy. Did you need something? I cannot. He's kind of like the traitor here. What about this guy? Standing too low. The sorrows of the elder are never ending. Thorard is wise to send you to the elves. We can help you, but the rest of your journey will be much more difficult. You must travel upstream to discover the source of the corruption. To Urgarth, you must go and find evidence of such creature. It would have to be a large beast, for such are the amounts of poison in the water. The waters flow from Karndoom's sewer down a waterfall into Urgarth. Perhaps he will find something of note where the waters run fastest. Now let me talk to this dude. Greetings, traveler. Will you stay a moment? Our stones and weapons run low, and we lack the materials to craft more. Without proper weapons, our cause seems hopeless, unless there is a possibility. We can pillage the supplies from the enemy at Karn Doom and bring them back here to where they can be reforged. Not only will we increase our store of weapons, we will take the same out of the hands of the enemy. If you will, travel west into Urgarth and spirit away their weapon crates. When you have the crates, return to me. I am at your service. All right, let me go in here. And nothing here. I was waiting to see if something was gonna load here, but I think I have to complete a quest before a person pops up there. And then let me come here. Might I take a moment of your time? These are dark days, Warden. The Morvale Scourge preys upon my men. Snatching them from where they sleep and carrying them off into their dens. You will find the Merivale stalking the lands of Himbar to the west. They are the eyes of Angmar, watching our movement and preying upon us. Slay them now, lest they return to Gath Fortnir. Beware the spies of the Merivale, their kindred, the bats. Let me see what's through here. So continuing on with the epic storyline. What do you need? I do not believe good fortunes alone brings you hither, my good hobbit. Come, we have much to speak about. Might I take a moment of your time? 
You came from Bragar. I have no doubt you heard that my father was lost. He was indeed lost to us, but I do not believe he was slain. I have heard reports from our allies that he was taken captive and is being held within the dungeons of Karn Doom. One such ally, a sympathetic hillman from the hostile eastern tribes named Rangal, claims that he has acquired a scroll from the libraries of Karn Doom that tells how to gain access to the city. If you would meet Rangal and obtain the scroll from him, it would be a tremendous step towards freeing my father from the clutches of the enemy. But be wary though, he will be waiting just south of Bail Cathronac, a hillman village which lies to the southwest of Gathfortnir. Most of the hillmen there are in the service of the Iron Crown. Interesting, so it looks like Golodir may not be dead after all. And then let me come through here. Come, Saturn. I would have a word with you. It sickens me to know that my people are threatened by the evil ones, and that there's not that I can do about it. In my youth, perhaps, but the time for rigorous for the rigorous travel across Ramus Delawan have robbed me of my vigor. Ah, but you are strong and brave. But you are strong and brave enough to stand against the orcs and thin out their accursed ranks. Travel to the fortifications to the west. There, in the places known as Utgarth and Karn Doom, you will find your share of orcs. Any blow we strike against the false king will help my people survive to see another day. And let me see what's through here. I do not have the corresponding quest. Okay. That's alright. So, first things first. Let me set my milestone here so that I can easily return. Because the quest hub is now here. And, um... Uh, be of assistance? Question is, I'm trying to find where I turn in my reputation items. So that I can get acquaintance with these people and actually... Start being able to... Increase my source. rep. But it, I don't know. Maybe these guys? No, these are the traitors. Let me just come out here. Let me talk with this guy. Stay a moment. I received word of reinforcements coming from the south. If this is true, they can help us strike out against Karn Doom. We must make a show of strength to the Angmarim, lest they become emboldened and attack us before help arrives. Set out to the west to Himbar and defeat the Angmarim warriors and marksmen. Take their weapons and bring them to me. We must prepare the message before we deliver it. Alright. So I think this is actually a good stopping point for this episode before we kind of continue doing everything here. Let me see if I can trade with this guy. How may no. I help you today? I forgot where I actually trade in my items, but I'll figure it out eventually. So thanks for watching this episode. In the next one, I'm going to start out doing some of the quests here in Gareth Fortnir. There's a lot of work to be done, but a large journey begins with a small step, and I'll be doing that in the next one, so see you then.